So you might be asking, Chad, if we're expecting frost tonight, why don't we have any frost advisories or freeze warnings like we did last night? Well, there's a really good explanation, and that is because our growing season has officially ended. So I have the National Weather Service Blacksburg meteorologist Ben Groover on the phone. And Ben, can you tell us what the criteria is that the Weather Service uses to determine if frost and freeze alerts are no longer needed after a chilly night, such as what transpired overnight Sunday? Right. So we'll take a look at um, the low temperatures across the counties uh, that the frost and frost advisories and freeze warnings are uh, where they're in effect. And, uh, we'll determine if 50% uh, or more of the county uh, saw at or below freezing temperatures. And then uh, once we've, we've determined that, uh, then we can uh, usually safely say that the growing season is done for those counties. If we have a persistent warm pattern in the mid to late fall season when the average hard frost typically occurs, what is the protocol for when to discontinue the issuance of frost and freeze alerts for the year? Yeah, so we do some we do coordination with uh, some of the agriculture extension offices as well as some of our neighboring uh, weather service offices, and then we uh, then determine dates for for certain areas for um, so if you know you don't re receive that that cold freezing temperatures, uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll determine that so for the west for the mountains here, which includes West Virginia, um, that would be November first. Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill reporting for Newswatch.